Uh, today we're going to be talking about what is border security and uh, how will we know uh, when we have it. Now, the issue I'm going to be talking about today is kind of inside baseball. And if you're a member of the government, you might get a little upset with what I'm about to say. I hope it's of use. Um, uh, but recently, November 13th, John McCain threatened to support, with, uh, support withhold support for Jay no uh, Johnson, who was nominated to be the Secretary of Homeland Security, because he won't, he won't commit to give him sector-by-sector -sector metrics for the border. What is he talking about? And uh, I would suggest that 98% of the people don't know what he's talking about. Now, it was interesting, back in 2003, on Meet the Press, John McCain said that the people would fully understand that we cannot protect our own borders. We have to go where the terrorists are. In other words, if we had a perfect protection and that we knew who was coming in and we could stop the ones we didn't want to have come in, we would not have to go overseas to take care of them over there, I don't think. Except for their friends that we not, not know about, but the ones that we're hitting with drones, we know who they are. And if they tried to come into the country and we knew that they were trying, we could stop them. So John McCain has said the reason we have to go over there is because our borders are not secure. Now, we just had a Senate bill that was passed for $46 billion for border security. Amazing. $46 billion. 750 miles of fencing. Oh, I heard that before. We're supposed to have 700 miles of fence back in 2006. Uh, 46 billion dollars for more border patrol agents. Now, we have figured that they've got, they're going to have 40,000 border patrol agents and it might get the arrests down to 40,000. That means one agent catches somebody once a year. This is not an exciting job. So, now, uh, Senator Cornyn said, without a coherent strategy or metrics to measure results, this could be one of the most massive wastes of federal money in the history of the government. Now, uh, Drucker said, the man who invented management, said, if you can't measure it, you can't improve it. How do you know it's improving? How do you know that? Well, this metric thing that John McCain said, right at the outset, I said, he wants metrics from the DHS, otherwise he's not going to vote for Jay Johnson. Oh, that's interesting. What do they mean by that? Oh, 2007, when uh, Senator Dole, Elizabeth Dole, was debating the amnesty, the last few minutes of the amnesty, she actually got up, and it's not here. She said, we're supposed to build 700 miles of fence on the border, we've only built two miles. You know where she got that two miles? American Border Patrol. We had published it earlier that month. We were the only source. <clears throat> then she went on to say, my view, my strong view, that it's not promises, it's proof that people want. The American people want to see results, control of the border, and we need to establish standards or metrics. Okay, the Grand Corporation said, DHS must define concrete and sensible objectives and measures of success. John McCain has said, we have to agree on certain criteria on what is successful securing of our border. Huh? And even the Government Accountability Office, as recently as December 2012, he said the, the government, they have to have uh, recommendations for executive action, performance goals or goals for border security. And we, we have to assess our progress. They've been saying this, everybody, people have been saying this for years. Now there is a metric out there. In the 2006 Secure Fence Act, it said it defined operational control as the job of DHS. And it says operational control means the prevention of all unlawful entries. Operational control. As a matter of fact, this was so critical, they had some congressional hearings on this. And uh, Candace Miller, a subcommittee of that uh, uh, chairman of that subcommittee on border and maritime security held a hearing. Well, really, what do we mean by operational uh, control? And this was part of her opening statement. She said, we rightly expect, the American people rightly expect and demand we have an operational control because we have to provide for the common defense. We cannot provide for the common defense if we cannot protect the sovereignty of our nation by securing our borders. But she pointed out Candace Miller said, 
Homeland Security Secretary Janet Napolitano recently said it's important to recognize that operational control is a very narrow term of art in, op in Border Patrol lingo. She said operational control should not be construed as a kind of overall assessment of what's happening at the border. Well, that's interesting. In other words, you're supposed to prevent people from crossing, but that is not a good measure. What? So Candace Miller says, if that's true, what, 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 should, be using to, what should we use to gauge? And they had hearings. And this one congressman uh, asked the head of the Border Patrol, he said, well, I would like to get a further understanding from you of what operational control really means. And the Chief Fisher said, I will say that part of our overall mission is to substantially increase the probability of apprehension of those people that seek to do harm to this country. Oh, as we'll discuss in a minute, how do you find that out, okay, unless you apprehend them? Uh, so so we, we, we'll go into that. And then later on in the same hearing was one congressman says, the law says you will prevent all illegal aliens from coming in, and it's just like Mr. Duncan read. And my question is, why would the Customs and Border Protection develop a functioning definition that is different from that is stated in the law? And he said, I don't think I understand what you said. So th this, this is a major dispute. And they came out with a new uh, operational uh, strategic plan where this one lawyer writer says they dropped the term operational control from the, from the plan. They don't even use it. What's going on here? Now, here. And I'm here with Bob Rob. I'm Phil Boaz. And Bob, we, we, you were a bit surprised by some of her remarks uh, about objective standards and rating security on the border. Uh, I, I was. Uh, the Department of Homeland Security used to characterize uh, segments of the border as under operational control or not. Um, a few years ago, they quit doing that, and it was widely anticipated that the department would come up with an alternative way of reaching the same results. Secretary Napolitano seemed to indicate that that wouldn't be the case, uh, that instead the department would just come up with a variety of independent variables uh, and just leave those to their own standing, uh, rather than looking at them and trying to come up with an overall characterization of how secure the border or segments thereof happen to be. Uh, and this is particularly surprising given that Congress seems to believe that some way of measuring border security is necessary to provide a trigger for comprehensive immigration reform. Now, for those who don't know, the Arizona Republic is a liberal kind of open borders magazine newspaper. And here are their editorial writers pointing out that somehow the Department of Homeland Security has dropped the whole idea of measuring how well they're doing. Now, this is the effective control used by uh, CBP. Stay abreast of current cross-border violations. What does that mean? How can you measure that? Maintain situational awareness. How do you measure that? Okay. Classify each situation. Respond to these situations with an appropriate law enforcement res resolution. Sounds good, but how do you go out and measure it? Now, if you apprehend somebody, then you can determine the identification, the level of threat, and the appropriate law enforcement um, uh, application. In the Senate bill, they define effectiveness rate as the number of apprehensions and turnbacks, okay, uh, divided by the number of illegal entries, right? So you have the number of illegal entries is key. And the guy who used to run GAO, he said, you have a number of apprehensions, but you don't know how many people crossed. You have a, no a numerator and denominator. You have to have the denominator to judge, you know, judge performance. So the very questionable, uh, how secure is the border right now? According to a GAO report, the effectiveness rate is the apprehensions plus turnbacks divided by the total number of known entries. This GAO report was an embarrassment. Uh, the GAO took the numbers directly from the Border Patrol, and the number of known entries does not include those they didn't see. So if you snuck past the Border Patrol and they didn't see it, that wasn't included in the effectiveness rate. 
And also, when they, they got away and ton, different things, they used sign cutting. In other words, looking for footprints. The idea of using that for an accurate count of anything is outrageous. So, but in a recent report by CFR, May 2013, they say the apprehension rate is 40 to 55 percent. I'll jump through this. Uh, a, a test by the radar, Vader radar system said the apprehension rate was closer to 40, 49 percent. You're a soft speaker. Go ahead. I said, have you ever shared your views with the DHS? Uh, interesting. Uh, we ran this test, a part of what you saw on that video. And uh, we made the, the, the KVOA TV in Tucson. They had a reporter there and made the front page of the Sierra Vista Herald. Uh, and then uh, I got a call to come back to Washington, D.C., and I sat in the room with uh, Mark Borkowski, Assistant Commissioner for Technology, Innovation, and Acquisition, and I showed him this video. And by the way, you've never heard of me, but uh, he, I was about to be introduced, and Mark Borkowski is probably the most important guy in America as far as border technology is concerned. He said, you don't have to introduce him. Anybody who knows anything about the border knows who Glenn Spencer is. Because I've been a pain in the ass for the DHS for the last 11 years. So I said, yeah, I'm a pain in the ass. He said, no, no, you've got your job to do. So they're looking at it. Okay. But I will say that chances are not very good. Because what would this do? What would this do? It would provide a count of the operational control of the border. And everybody is saying that the people in DHS don't want to do that. So even though we've come up with a very good technology, and it's stuff that really works and is cheap, right? They probably won't do it because the bureaucrats in there won't let them. Because this is a, it's, it's totally opposed to their basic fundamental philosophy of avoiding accountability.